It's a weird thing, because I read it in a magazine, it said 68% of all British men masturbate on a regular basis. And I thought, well, okay, I'm quite prepared to believe that. Mm. How do they know? <laughs> Hello, what's there? Crack Wars story. Welcome or welcome back to the channel. We're checking out some Billy Connolly. Yes, Billy. Go on, Billy. This is Billy Connolly getting caught interfering with yourself, masturbating. I've been caught before. I'll tell you guys the story in a bit. But yeah, this is back in 1987. We're going back. I'm loving this. Let's go. Another thing is masturbation. <laughs> I can see you're going on. Oh, no, please change, change it. <laughs> oh, Billy, come on! I'm with a girlfriend here. Give us a. <laughs> <laughs> if I laugh, she'll know I've done it. So... I've done it. <laughs> We've all done it. I've done it. It's a weird thing because I read it in a magazine. It said 68% of all British men masturbate on a regular basis. And I thought, well, okay, I'm quite prepared to believe that. Mm. How do they know? <laughs> <laughs> did it show up in the Richter scale or something? <laughs> God, I, mean, <laughs> I mean, how can they know? Because anybody I ask never does it. Mm. Do you fucking watch? <laughs> I'd rather cut my fucking hand off. <laughs> <laughs> but I thought I'd change it tonight and give you a little a guide to more fulfilling masturbation because I a guide. I have found a new method. Mm. I read it in a book, I've never tried it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Are you calling me a wanker? <laughs> <laughs> Here's what you do, because you're driven to it, really. I mean, you could be watching Crossroads or something, <laughs> or Neighbours, Neighbor. and you think, that's it, I've lost a will to live. <laughs> I'm going to go and jump off something high. <laughs> On the other hand, I might have a wee wank before I go. <laughs> a wee wank. So, what you should do, first of all, is find a quiet place where you won't be disturbed because it's hardly a spectator sport. True. And it's quite exceptionally difficult to find a good excuse for what you're doing if you're caught. <laughs> true, true. In mid-masturbation. You know, Sorry. I mean, just, just think of it. I remember growing up, that used to be my biggest fear. My parents catching me. Like, I don't care my friends see me. I don't care, you know, that lads. My, if my mum ever caught me, oh, I wouldn't know what to do. Let me know, did your parents ever... My little brother, I think he, I think he saw me, but he didn't know what he did, what he, what he, what he saw. I think he did. I'll tell you guys the story in a bit. But that used to be my biggest fear, my parents catching me. Oh, no. Like, I know my dad would do nothing. He'd probably be like, well, that's what guys do. But I know my mum would make a big deal of it. I would be like, that's what you're doing now. That's why you're always tired. That's why you, that's why you don't do any job. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, Lord. But yeah, I think that's probably why I moved out as soon as I did. Because I moved out when I went to uni. When I, was, I went to uni when I was 17. And I've moved out since since then. I've never lived with my parents since I was 17. That's probably why I moved out early. Mm. More private time to myself. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> what do you say? Hey, I was there. Uh, I was just counting my willies. <laughs> So before we go any further, I'm going to do you a real favour. I'm going to give you an excuse to use if caught. Because there are people, quite stunningly nosy people, who will follow you and listen. Even when you pile furniture against the door. I can't seem to get in. There seems to be furniture against the door. You say, well, it's my new hobby, furniture piling. Now fuck off. <laughs> Also here, is it me or does it, does it sound a lot like Victor? Victor from, no, is it Jack? Wait, from Steel Game. I'm reacting to Steel Game in case you don't know. I've done three episodes so far. The taller geezer, is that Victor or, or Victor? Yeah, Victor's the tall geezer. 
Is it me? He sounds just like him here. Literally. I feel like I'm listening to him. Listen to it. But they just hand him no fuck off. <laughs> but they just hand him burst in and you're in mid master. The opening line is all important. Your first line is ultimately the best line you're gonna have. And I'm gonna give you one. As soon as the offending person bursts in the door and says, Oh my God! <laughs> they tend to go a bit Rita Hayworth, people, when they catch you having a wank, you see. <laughs> oh my God! Your line is, Thank God you're here! <laughs> <laughs> what? Thank God you're here. Now that really upsets them. That had them rocking back. Thank God I'm what, here. What, what? I thought he was having a wank. <laughs> Your next line is, you'll never believe this. <laughs> well, calm down a wee bit and go, probably not. Try me. <laughs> I was just walking across the room there. Just having a wee stroll. A bees you stroll out. I was just passing a sideboard, as a matter of fact. When the biggest bloody spider you ever saw in your life, big fucking hairy legs like my index finger, came crashing out from behind the sideboard and shot up the leg of my bloody trouser. Christ, I nearly passed away. I thought, what's that bugger after? And I just remembered reading that book just the other day. You probably saw me. Oh, well, I just saw you reading a book there. <laughs> Aye. <laughs> that book, Tarantulas and Their Wily Ways. <laughs> and it says, there's nothing a tarantula loves more than to sink its fangs into people's willies. <laughs> I thought, that's what that bugger's <laughs> after. <laughs> I whipped the tweeds down in the blinking of an eye, and not a minute too soon, the bugger was sitting there. The fangs out, it was just going, looking just about to jab right into the old willy. I went, get you the bugger away from there! Get out, fuck, just as you walked in the door. <laughs> so. Oh, Lord. Oh, fuck. Sorry, sorry, sorry. What a legend. He's been doing this for years. See, again, he can make a story. Like you can make you picture it. Like, why am I picturing his bedroom? I picture the bedroom. I picture the spider. I picture someone walking in. I pictured everything. He's so good at that. He's an artist. Literally. I know. I think someone said, uh, not someone. You guys said in the comments. I think he's retired now. And someone said, I think he has Parkinson's disease. I hope he doesn't. If he doesn't, I hope he just I hope he gets well. I hope things are easier for him. Because he's done so much to comedy. I've only just found out about him a few weeks ago. And I absolutely love him already. Like, he's making me laugh so much so so much i'm really enjoying this yeah i hope he's doing well I hope it gets well uh yeah uh just keep commenting check out the patreon when see stuff come out earlier check out the membership uh just let me know anything else you want to react to comment down below i might not react to it today tomorrow but i promise you i'll find a day i'll react to it trust me i'm doing so much i'm reacting to a lot of stuff so yeah get down comment down below i have to go kill this spider see you soon Bye bye